guys, Nerdy Noob here, and welcome back to another unboxing video! I'm quite excited about this just because I like this company. We'll see how this box does, though. In this video, we're going to be unboxing the 2000, I don't know when this is for, we'll say December. Oh, let me un let me just unwrap the plastic. <laughs> Shopkins Direct Box! This is a quarterly subscription box from Culture Fly. Oh, look at this, it's a little suitcase. And this is themed after Shopkins. I bought this specifically for my god kids because they love Shopkins, although I must say that Shopkins are a little bit fading. I'm not gonna lie. Nom noms, num noms have taken over a little bit. There's still people out there who like Shopkins, but I don't know how much longer I'm gonna keep this box just because I don't know how much longer my god kids are gonna like it. So currently I'm getting two of these uh, so that when I'm done filming, I can just hand it over to my god kids. But why don't we go ahead and check out how this box did. Here's the box, it looks like a little suitcase. Um, it's travel themed, which makes sense because I wanna say that one of the sets that I had from the little Shopkins toys were like, venture across the world. That's not actually what the theme was, but it was like world, right? So let's go ahead and check out this box. Based off of all the other Culture Fly boxes, I assume that the items should be pretty good in this box just because I like their boxes specifically. I think that they're really good. Uh, let's see. I feel like I haven't opened this box in forever. When did I open this box last? Summer. So this must be the, what, the fall or the winter box, I guess? I don't really know. This is only my second time getting this box, so let's go ahead and see how it did. Once you remove the plastic and you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. Oh, there's a little card that just fell out. Now I just said that uh, Shopkins aren't as popular though. Now that I've realized that I just took my god kids to the arcade yesterday and we went to go get our prizes and they each picked a Shopkins plushie. Audrey got a lipstick one and Maddie got this apple with a worm coming out of it. So I guess it's not like gone yet. I'm just saying that they don't seem as popular, that's all. Okay, this is the box. Uh, just to kind of, I was gonna say tickle your fancy, but that's not a good term to use. Um, just to remind you, this box costs $37 and it is quarterly, so we get it every three months. All right, let's go ahead and check out what we got. The first item we got is this strawberry bag. This is some sort of bag. I don't know if there's anything in it, but it's kind of like fake leather. Um, it's a pretty thick bag. I feel like there's gonna be something in this. Let's unzip it. Oh, this is cool. It's a little marker set with a notebook. That's actually really nice. This is really great for kids if you like go places like restaurants. I feel like the kids would love just coloring on the little notepad and making their own little notes because usually they get bored with the little restaurant menus eventually. So that's really cool. I'm a fan of that. I based this box, the coolness factor, I based, based off of if my god kids would like these items. That's how I kind of base it. So just in case you guys are wondering. Next we have a passport wallet. Ooh, I don't know what that means. Is this like a, we got one in our pushing box. It was like a wallet to hold your passport. Although I don't know how many kids have passports. So I don't know how like great this would be, but let's open this. We're gonna pull this off. All of these items are exclusive to the box and are licensed and made by Culturefly. So here's our passport Well, I actually think this is legitimately meant to store your passport, which I think is so funny. But I guess some kids have passports. I don't think my god kids have passports, but they can use it for other things. They can put little notes in here. There's this little like area that looks like it's for like cards, like you can put your little ID cards and whatnot. So that's neat. Next we have a, a pillowcase. Oh, cool. This is, oh, neat. Let me, um, I'm gonna open this. How do I open it? This way. This is a, tr a travel, oh, a tr what is this? Oh, a travel pillow. I thought it was a pillowcase. I got really excited, but a travel pillow is still cool. Do I blow it up or what is this? Oh, okay, so it has your little inflatable tube inside. Oh, that's cool, and then the case is actually uh, uh, like an actual case, so you can take it off and wash it, and it's fuzzy. So it's a neck pillow. It's one of those ones that you blow up, and it's a neck pillow. See, that's perfect for airplane rides. Oh, that's neat. Here's the design on the pillowcase. And like I said, this is very soft and fuzzy, and it is a case, so you can take it off and wash it if you want. Oh, cool. That's so unique. I can't tell if this box is made for kids. I thought it was made for kids, but a lot of this stuff kind of seems like it might be for adults. I don't know how many adults actually get this. All right, next we have a poly perfume charm. These are the little charms that you can attach to zippers. 
You could even potentially attach it to like the zipper on, oh no, never mind. This zipper doesn't have a little hole on it, but on most zippers, like if you have your little purse or bag or something. Next we have this, this is super heavy. This looks like a UK bag of some sort. It's super heavy, you guys. Whatever this thing is, it's so heavy. It sounds like there's there might be something in it. So here's this like bag. It's like a clutch, which is so, it's so unique. This does seem like it's meant for adults. It's a clutch bag. Oh, and you open it up and it has the little strap so you can actually make it like a purse. That's so unique. Huh, this is actually really nice. I don't know, where do you hook on? I don't know where you hook the uh, the, the strap like this. Is it right here? This doesn't seem like it's gonna close once I hook these straps on, but let's try it. Okay, oh, it does close. Oh wow, that's unique. So this is like a little clutch or you can do a little purse. Oh my gosh, so fancy. I feel like this is too fancy to be a Shopkins item, but you know what you could always do is just flip it around and have it not showing the eyeballs, which I think is less creepy. If you're an adult, you know, like if you're a kid, I guess it doesn't matter, but if you're an adult and you don't want to see it, you can just hold it like this, and it could be your very own, uh, what do they call it, Union Jack clutch. The only reason I know that is because of ginger spice. That's literally the only reason I know that. Okay, that's really cool. This is a really nice clutch. Let me just show you up close and personal. It's really like heavy duty material. This is all metal right here and then you could just fit stuff in there. Wow. And then the last item we have is our figure. This is a pineapple crush vinyl figure. That's what it looks like in the box. And then this is the side view. I will go ahead and take this out though so you can see it. Now I've noticed some of their boxes are numbered but this one doesn't look like it is so I don't know how many they make of this. But you know what guys, for, for $37, this box is not, it's it's actually really nice. Uh, how do we open this without creasing the box? Got it, got it. I'm not a huge fan of these vinyl figures. They This one's a lot thicker, which is nice. It doesn't seem as much like a bath toy, but sometimes their vinyl figures look a little bit like bath toys, not gonna lie. So there you go, you have, what is this? Pineapple Crush, there you go. It doesn't have a strong smell, so that's nice. Okay, that's all the items in the box. Let's do some quick pricing and recap. I'm actually fairly excited about this box and I'm excited to give this to my god kids. So again, I did get two so they wouldn't fight over the items. But the first one we have is our figure. I'm gonna go ahead and just give that $10. I know usually we give exclusive figures 15, but I think for this set, it's kind of like $10 is good. Um, this inflatable pillow I think is really neat and I like how it has an extra case on it. Inflatable pillows you can get for like $5. I would probably give this one maybe $6 or $7 because it is licensed Shopkins and it did come in like legitimate packaging which is nice. So why don't we go ahead and give that, let's do $6. We'll stay on the lower end. Um, we got our passport wallet which is also very nice. It, I, I don't know how many kids have passports that can use this but it's still a cool little like notebook if you want to stick notes in it and whatnot. So I would probably give this thing probably what like six, six dollars maybe. We had this little strawberry thing that has markers in it. I love this. This is actually really amazing for kids. It's a really good product. I would give this item, I would probably give this six to eight dollars. I think seven dollars for that is fair. We had our little perfume charm, which I would go ahead and give four dollars. And then we had our clutch bag. This thing is amazing. I would honestly give this thing fifteen dollars. I actually think this is worth fifteen dollars. It's actually really nice. Like just in general, it's really nice. You might even be able to give it twenty, but we'll just give it fifteen for right now. So according to my pricing, this box is worth $48. Now I do think I undervalued some of the products. I won't, I'll be honest and say that. Um, I think that you could give the inflatable pillow maybe one more dollar and make that seven. And then, yeah, I think that's good. Um, so $49-ish. When I say this box costs $37, so we got $12 extra value. For a $37 box, we are looking for basically about $12 extra value, $12.50. So this box definitely, you know, it depending on how you price things, I might have undervalued some things, but it definitely, it basically hit the value that we're looking for. I actually really enjoy the items in this box. I still can't figure out if it's geared for kids or not, but I mean, I'm gonna give it to kids. It just seems, a, it, like, it kinda seems a little bit adult-esque, but I do like all the items in the box and I like the quality of the items in the box, especially that clutch thing. Like, that thing was really nice. Like, you could potentially 
actually give that thing $20. It's really nice. So uh, I am totally a fan of that. Um, oh, here's a little tag for it. And again, everything is licensed and exclusive, so that's really nice. If I had to rate this box this month, I would give this box a 4.75 out of 5 noobs. I actually really liked all the items in the box. I like everything. I thought everything was very unique. We got some things that we've never received before, which I like. You could definitely give this box to kids, and it still will work. I think the things that don't seem as kiddish are useful, like kids can figure out how to use them. So I'm, you know, a fan of that. And this box is cool with the handle and everything. I'm a fan of it. I think that this box could get a teeny bit more value, but this is one of the cheaper Culture Fly boxes on their channel for, at $37. That's actually fairly cheap because a lot of their other boxes are $50. So I think for the price point and the items that you're getting, it's a good deal. So if you have kids that like Shopkins, I think that this is a really good deal. Again, it is only quarterly, so they're not going to get it every month, but it's still something to look forward to. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more boxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. What are your thoughts? Especially if you guys have kids that like Shopkins, it could be a, a legitimate option. There's not that many kid boxes out there, and even though this box seems kind of expensive, for a quarterly box, it gets good value and it has good items. So, I, you know, I would definitely recommend it if your kid likes Shopkins. Only if your kid likes Shopkins, though. If they don't like Shopkins, then it probably wouldn't work out so great. Um, but let me know what your thoughts are down below. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my Thank You to Subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. Before we go, we must do the video shout out. I'm just gonna do somebody who commented on my last Shopkins direct unboxing. Uh, we're gonna give the shout out to Melanie who commented Shopkins, modern day Lisa Frank. That's actually true. That's true. I can see that. Although Lisa Frank was way cooler. But I could see that for the kids nowadays. So Melanie, you're gonna get the video shout out. Thank you so much for watching and commenting and supporting my channel. I appreciate it greatly. So shout out to you, Melanie. Shout out to you. All right, guys. I hope you have a great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.